This lesson will cover some of the decisions that you will need to make on entering data based on your available resources. Let's have a look at setting up your licensing system. If you have a domestic fleet, will you cater for them in the Toughman licensing system? Or will you simply set them up in the national fleet component of Toughman? There are pros and cons for each of these choices. For more information, refer to the lessons on licensing and the lessons on national fleet. Let's look at entering log sheet data. If you are lacking data entry resources, you may decide to only enter log sheet data for your own EEZ. This decision does have consequences and you should refer to the lesson on what tough man won't do for one example. If at all possible, it is highly recommended that you enter the data for the full trip covered by each log sheet. What about your port sampling data? Are you going to enter totals only or are you going to go for full data entry? Refer to the lessons on port sampling for further information. With regards to data management, how will you set up your data registry, batching and hard copy storage systems? Will you use the Toughman data registry system which is recommended? Refer to the lessons on data registry for more information. This lesson has raised some of the larger decisions that you will have to make on entering data based on your available resources and has given you some recommendations on other lessons to look at to help you resolve those questions. But please do not hesitate to contact OFP staff at SPC if you need additional guidance on these or any other decisions concerning Toughman. That concludes this lesson.